it's Faye. I know you guys have been wanting me to share my laser treatment experience, so here it is. My friend Charlotte from Silver Glam introduced me to this derm clinic. Make sure to check out her video to see what she got done too. This place is called Orco. There's a couple hundred locations in total here in South Korea. That shows you that it's a legit place that locals go to. We actually got to meet the CEO of this place and he was super nice. Off to consultation where we met one of the top doctors here. And it's full though. For consultation time. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready too. So he asked me what my main problem was and I said acne, which I should have been more detailed. However, I did say that one of my concerns were these two invasive bumps and he pointed it out that they were actually internal scarring tissues. He recommended me to get steroid shots for it. And P.S. Michelle Fawn actually told me about this last resort treatment too when I met her last summer. The two main laser treatments I got done were CO2 and IPL. Oracle recommends these two for anyone who's looking for even toned skin and ridding acne scars and aging spots. Spot removal because my dark spot here. Steroid shot to get rid of the bump. The bump guys, finally, it's been like over six months. You guys know I've been complaining about this so much. The acne scar that's underneath the superior skin. Oh yeah, I found that so interesting. It's an internal scar. Here we go. First, we have to wash our faces clean. No makeup, nothing, just by your skin. My first step was getting serial shots for my internal scarrings, and I definitely felt the needle here. It wasn't too bad. It was like poke poke done. This is to reduce the inflammation and or lesions underneath my skin. Here are some advice about steroid shots that Charlotte told me about which you should know as well. Don't get steroid or cortisone shots for blackheads, pimples, or whiteheads. No, 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 no. This is meant for last resorts, specifically for cystic acne that scarred underneath the skin surface. It almost feels like a really hard pebble when you press on it with no feeling. For example, Mine has been inflamed for over six months and I needed this to decrease the nodule underneath. Please try switching up your diet if you have similar problems. Michelle even told me to cut out cheese and dairy. Maybe that could help you before you decide to resort here. Next, I got my nose filled, which I did a whole video on that and you can watch it by clicking the I button. And no, I was not sponsored, okay? Off we go to numb this face. Charlotte and I both got some numbing cream and waited about 30 minutes. I kind of wish they had us wait a bit longer, but it's okay. I'm a big girl. So I thought. So first was the CO2 laser treatment, aka carbon dioxide. This treatment removes moles, aged in dark spots, warts, acne scars, etc. It is powerful. Unlike IPL where it aims in large surface areas, this is targeted. First off, the smell. Since he's basically targeting my spots and many moles, it smelled like burnt skin. I know, so delicious. Secondly, ouch. Even though I love the aftermath, wow, this hurt like a bee. And I literally mean a bee. It stings, and because he bridged some spots around my eyes, it's even more painful because of the sensitive skin. Basically, the laser shoots straight onto the mole and or the spot, and it removes damaged skin within deeper layers to boost the stimulation of healthier skin underneath. I think at this point, you can read my emotions. Am I right or am I right? He then put some stickers over my eyeballs to prep me for the IPL treatment, aka photo rejuvenation laser that is used as a broad spectrum laser. I started crying. My butt talks felt like they were gonna pull a muscle. It was intense. This removes freckles, aged spots, pigmentation, and more. It felt like burning pricks stabbing at me. I think the IPL hurt more for me because my face was already exposed to sensitivity after the CO2 laser. So this round, I was like, 
praying. Lastly, the most important step, I received sunscreen. It is so important to get sunscreen, especially since the skin is very vulnerable to UV rays. Stickers were actually placed on larger spots that were targeted during the CO2 treatment. I looked like a tomato ready to burst. I was like ready to be smashed into tomato juice if you ask me. Completely normal, don't stress. And yes, my face felt like how it looked. Hot and uncomfortable. And not hot in a good way. Hot as in like, ow. It was still a bit pinged, but again, that's to be expected. It goes down in like 10 minutes, so you'll be okay. Um, we're done with our treatment. Yes. Yeah, you look good. Well, I'm not. I look pretty tired. <laughs> Afterwards, we recouped and sat down to look at their line that will soon be curated on SoCoGlam.com. Guess what? I've been using some of these products for over a month now, and I've been genuinely loving it. The whole line that Charlotte's going to curate is 100% completely for acne-prone and troubled skin. I will for sure do a full review on the whole line closer in time for you get excited so is it worth it i know some of you are gonna say it's not worth all that pain just to have good skin and that's understandable yeah true however this experience was definitely worth it in my case scarring was always something i struggled with along with my skin texture and uneven skin tone of course i know that without my own efforts basically loving my own skin and taking care of it myself i wouldn't have come this far in the first place with a bit of treatment it was kind of like the last push i needed that doesn't necessarily mean that you need it and it doesn't necessarily mean that I can't do it either. Do what makes you happy and sometimes it's okay to get help. I'm gonna leave all the information down below if you want to check out this realistic derm clinic if you're ever in Seoul. Also, Charlotte got CO2 laser and laser toning done which is a way to brighten and even out your skin tone. I'll link her video below for those who are interested in a professional perspective take on this. Wait, wait, wait. I vlogged the whole healing process from the pus, the scabbing, the scabs falling off, and I actually had one mishap that I have a lot of explaining to do. If you want to see my face transform after the treatments, like this video and I'll give you all the tea. I'm only going to share if you like this video. Subscribe to me if you want. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye! Bye.